Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids across our beloved empire. It's great to be in the empire today, and I want to welcome you to your first look at Aiden Versio. We did a big live stream yesterday, card in the top right-hand corner, where you and I had our first look at Aiden Versio. We're going to summarize everything you need to know off the bat about Aiden Versio, ranging from making the Imperial Troopers even better against Lord Vader, and you no longer need crazy speeds. But Aiden Versio herself is creating a brand new team with leftover Imperial Troopers that take out things like Mo Money Mothma and more importantly Kyle Katarn and possibly in select situations you might be able to underdog or even cheese with low gear against select teams out there so sit back relax grab a cup of Jawa juice and let's get into this initial character review for Aiden Versio you that not all mobile games just release expensive several hundred dollar characters well then let me introduce you to our sponsor raid shadow legends this month in raid there is a huge update which introduces a brand new boss the hydra and if you're brave enough to take out the hydra You'll be rewarded with some of the greatest rewards that Raid Shadow Legends has to offer. And between now and January 28th, if you log in for seven days, you too can get simple for free. Use my link or scan the QR code and you'll get some free resources and a mystery champion. But be quick because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days. But what I want us to talk about first, before we get into more gameplay and strategy, is kind of highlight a few overview and key stats that I think you need to know about this character. First thing you want to make note is we are not going to have Omicron gameplay today, although we will talk about it briefly. She does have a Grand Arena Omicron to end this gameplay. It's just impossible to showcase it right now without some way of testing it out. As mentioned in the introduction, Aiden Versio is meant to bring a new level of viability to leftover troopers, very much so how, for example, Dashendar made use out of a leftover unused team. Aiden Versio's primary goal is to make use of the leftover troopers, such as Snow Trooper, Magma Trooper, Death Trooper, Storm Trooper, maybe even Shore Trooper, Colonel Star, characters that aren't being used with what we call the Super Trooper team containing of Veers, yeah, and Dark Trooper. Once Veers and the Super Troopers get their pick of the litter, you've got these leftover characters that are either way too slow, they don't get enough turns, their damage is kind of pitiful, they're just not helpful anywhere else in the game. But henceforth, Aiden Versio is going to take your trash and turn them into Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a few key things you need to understand about Aiden Versio from a stat and kit perspective. Her speed is 155 base speed before considering anything else, which in the grand scheme of the game is not really that fast. That's actually one of the slower characters we've seen over the past year or so. However, do not let the raw speed fool you. She technically could be one of the fastest characters in the game. Thanks to her unique ability, first in, last out, Aiden Versio will immediately gain a 100% turn meter. And the best part about it is she does not need the Zeta to get this 100% turn meter boost. So, so long as there is no Watt Tambor and no Han Solo, she should be able to open up the gate and get a big, big play going for your leftover troopers. Furthermore, on top of that, take that 155 base speed and there are two things that amplify it. If she is in the leader ability, she's already granting plus 35 five extra speed which is already one of the biggest speed boosts we see out of a leader and when she grants we adapt or die with this ability she's going to be granting imperial troopers an extra plus 30 speed on the team and on top of that she's going to sing this amazing new hit single that we release So technically, when you take your 155 base bleed, add 35 from the lead, and add 30 from We Adapt or Die, she is the fastest non-Galactic Legends character on the team, and that doesn't even include the massive 100% turn meter boost right out the get-go. Other worthy thing of noting is first in, last out, every Imperial Trooper, they always have some sort of clause that they share throughout the team. And Aiden Versio is going to be also boosting the offense to quite a heavy degree, even inside of a Super Trooper team with General Veers and Dark 
Stormtrooper. And she's also granting tons of offense on our lead. And if you recall, we adapt or die. That's also another 30% offense. So speed is a huge thing that she needed to grant for these Imperial Troopers. And the offense is dialed up to the max which is why she can't really be used as Dark Tripper or even Piet's Emperor's Trap, per se. And she's also drastically slowing the enemy opposition with her exactly as planned. When there's vulnerable on the enemies, they are losing 25% speed, which is huge and important for your first opening play. In order to apply vulnerability, you are need to gonna use her first special, Push Forward, an AoE ability that applies vulnerable on the entire team and also has a buff the spell capability and the mass swarm so long as there are no leader base characters or non-droid imperial trooper allies push forward seems to be bugged and when she's supposed to be dispelling buffs so what she does she also seems to be removing the debuffs that were on the enemy and that's kind of a big no-no in certain situations so when you combine the sugar spice and everything nice about Iden Virgil, she's very fast she's getting 100 percent turn meter big mass storm out the get go tons of damage at the very minimum, I can see this team sniping a lot of banners if you're placing it on defense. Just from initial testing, I think the biggest thing about her is she is making the Imperial Trooper counter to Lord Vader even more accessible now more than ever. If you guys recall, there was a counter, still is a counter, to Lord Vader, but it required a very fast Shakti that can make sure she's at least one point faster than Piet, but also is fast enough to outrun characters that can trigger Maul's second frenzy. But the problem is mm, that's a lot of speed on Shakti that you might need up against a Galactic Legend. Henceforth now, Iden Versio can replace Shakti and does one of a few things. One, even though she's got low speed, what you can do, we'll talk more about this in the modding section of this video, but even if she's not faster than Piet, and Piet goes first, when she cleanses the team with her weekend grieve later, which is one of the biggest things Imperial Troopers needed for years now, ever since the Zeta came out for Veers, it is now going to allow people with a slower Imperial Trooper team to keep up and knock down Lord Vader teams. And with that 30% offense boost, with her unique ability first and last out, Dark Trooper hits harder now more than ever, especially paired with Emperor's Trap. In that situation, we were running a 330 speed Iden Versio. She couldn't outrun Piet, obviously couldn't outrun the opposing team. But once Piet went, got marked, Ida Versio was able to clean off the days, and the train just started rolling, and it's going to be very difficult for Lord Vader teams to outrun it. Now, do keep in mind, there are ways to stop this Imperial Trooper counter. You're going to need a very fast Imperial character of some sort. There are ways to still stop Imperial Troopers, but there are times people just aren't going to put a good Lord Vader team down, and you're going to be able to walk over them for pretty much maximum banners with Iden Versio, cleansing the team and taking the Imperial Troopers to victory. But I suspect this was not the developer's sole intention, was to make the Imperial Trooper counter even better up against Lord Vader. Her primary purpose is yes of course you can use her with beers as that fifth member a cleanse is always fantastic but you're probably gonna get more bang for your buck splitting up the teams and having your veer super trooper team with veers piet dark trooper and the last two slots are kind of up gideon range trooper it is very evident that no matter what leftover Iden versio team you have the most prevalent thing i'm seeing her being used for already is to take out the notorious Mon Mothma Kyle Katarn teams. Ever since Kyle Katarn came, Mon Mothma Rebel Fighters jumped up in terms of threat and viability. Kyle Katarn gets massive turn meter boost, but he does not get a 100% turn meter, unlike Iden Versio, and does not get nearly as crazy amounts of speed as the Iden lead grant. So most likely, even without the Omen Crown, we were able to take out a Rebel Fighter team fairly comfortably, but there are other ways you could use her as well. If you mod her for speed, again, we'll talk about mods later on in the video. If you put a lot of speed on her, and to really amplify the amounts of speed she's granting through the lead and we through we adapt or die she can oftentimes take two turns turn number one she's got the 100 percent turn meter opens up with a huge play but if she's already got fast mods in her she can open up with we grieve later which is going to grant another 30 speed for the team and then she's going to take another turn right away because likely the enemy cannot outrun an item versio that's hypothetically, in the high 380-90s, 400s. And then she can open up with the push forward, calling everyone to assist when they got that nasty we adapt or die buff on them. But some other teams that we managed to beat were occasionally Commander Luke Skywalker, and I do believe we're gonna have more consistent Commander Luke Skywalker wins once we get the leadership 
Omicron. Some other non-Omicron uses, we were able to beat out Darth Revan teams here and there. It was not a pretty battle by any stretch of the imagination, but being able to take leftover things like Stormtrooper, Stark, Snowtrooper, and then throwing an Iden Versio to outrun Darth Revan. Darth Revan can't work with 100% Terminator gain on Iden Versio and that crazy amount of 65 extra speed she's getting. You likely can do two big plays before Darth Revan can get anything going, but it is going to be a pretty nasty matchup, it seems like. Although most of this gameplay has been high star uh, Relic 5 gameplay, I want to talk about some low gear possibilities and even cheats. We technically started off our testing with a two star gear six level 84 test because we haven't talked about it much right now it hasn't really made a big play in terms of the high geared situation of Iden. but if you're going to be someone that tries to take advantage of her at low stars first in last out when you throw the zeta on her she's going to constantly revive at 100 percent health and protection so long as there's another imperial trooper on the team and furthermore whatever killed her off wasn't a permanent killing thing like boba fett's she's just gonna keep reviving over and over again so we figured out maybe a way to take advantage of a low gear item because a lot of teams out there they're focused on killing the weakest person on the team and that would be Iden versio at two stars gear six and every time Iden is being killing off in that situation you should have snow trooper on the team and every time someone dies off snow trooper is gaining 30 percent turn meter and feeding half of that to the rest teams that's 15 percent turn meter so if the enemy goes into a cycle of constantly killing off Iden versio your team's gonna get tons of turn meter but not all enemy teams are that idiotic they might ignore Iden and kill off the rest of the team but that's something to keep in the back of your mind that it's kind of like the old school paper zombie trick where a lower gear zombie had some benefits that high geared zombies didn't have at the time of course they patched that i don't know if it's going to be to that extent another thing in terms of cheese we were able to kind of get some interesting results with the Grievous Nuke BB-8 teams. Iden Versio, Stormtrooper, two-man soloing a whole entire Grievous team. Again, usually the enemy goes after the weakest person, which is Iden, compared to Stormtrooper, and they were able to survive the test of time and survive while Grievous ate apart his team. So this might be an interesting strategy with lots of droid nuke teams leaning out there to maybe take advantage and get some pretty high Banarunos. Let's talk about Zeta, Omicrons, and Maz, and we're going to get into my initial opinion on what I think about this character so with the mods if you're planning on using her with veers and the super troopers i highly recommend you put lots of speed on her so that way she is the second character to go after Piet. If you're not planning on using her against Lord Vader, you can maybe opt out without the speed and go for something more like this. Something based off offense to really take advantage of the huge offensive gain she's granting through the lead through We Adapt or Die. And of course her unique ability first in, last out. I would recommend maybe offense on this cross, but potency is going to be important, especially running the item lead because when she drops that AoE on her first special, you need her to land the vulnerability to reduce the enemy speed and consistently get the stuns that your team needs. So I'm Leaning towards offense potency sets. I can also agree with an offense crit chance set. And then on the triangle, you probably want to opt for something like critical damage or offense. Is the Zeta required for her on the first and last out? I will say it's a, it's a nice Zeta. I don't think it's a mandatory Zeta, unlike some other characters we've seen recently. Primarily grants the ability to constantly revive over and over again. So if you're someone that's going to use her at low gear, I would recommend getting this because likely she's going to be targeted first. If you're someone that wants to maybe the underdog cheese, which we're going to spend a bit more time looking into, the future that two-man solo the zeta was critical to pull that off do i like the omicron of course it's hard to give an opinion because there's zero gameplay of that lingering out there at the time of this video but i do see myself granting this omicron sometime in the near future if i want more consistent wins up against commander luke skywalker which is a popular team this is something i do have a lot of interest in if i could take leftover troopers of Iden to beat a cls team whew, that's not a bad day at work if you ask me or also it's again kind of like an extra layer of a security blanket if you're worried that the rebel fighters are going to get a turn meter train rolling that extra 10 percent terminator boost on the assist is going to be critical to keep up with them and my initial opinion on her is i do like her i love characters that make useless characters useful it's a team that a lot of people might have that never was a team before but now it is being able to get maybe high bands against rebel fighters perhaps against commander luke skywalker or even getting yourself out of a pickle against a lot of these teams or even helping you outrun these crazy fast speeds i fought a 370 dash rendard the other day this would have been great to have to try to get out there stun dash and mass swarm them out the get-go let's talk about a few things that i do not like about her first thing is it really sucks they really limited her kit if she's with gideon piet veers dark trooper it's understandable because man that team would be beyond gods here at that point another thing i have a love-hate relationship with is the we adapt or die 
I was really hoping this is going to be a non-dispellable buff because one of my biggest problems is it's really easy to dispel it. Chupio can just do a, one of his buff dispels. It's all gone. Chewbacca can do one AoE. It's going to rip off all of your We Adapt or Die. The upside is, yes, unfortunately, it can be dispelled, but at least you're going to recover 80% health and gain 80% turn meter, and then you can't be critically. So there is an upside with it being dispelled, but it does suck when it goes away because, again, you're missing 30% critical chance, 30% offense, the 30 speed, and the ability to revive with 70% health when you're defeated. If I had to rank her right now, easily a knight-based character, but I think in the right situations with the Veers team or even with her own trooper team that she forms, she's going to be most likely a master level character. I see her sniping a lot of banners on defense. I see her being a very useful tool to outrun fast characters that you're going to see on defense. And throughout all the revives, she's granting to herself to the rest of the team easy ways to cheese your way to through a victory when you got a difficult character in front of you so that's gonna wrap it up today ladies and gentlemen for your initial character review of Aiden Versio Imperial Troopers are one of the most fun factions in galaxies that beat pretty much every non-galactic legend team and then some and now even better with the help of Aiden Versio leave a like comment down below on your initial impressions of Aiden Versio and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and <laughs> I guess the most important important thing is we gotta say dang it's great to be in the empire today be a dance or we die tonight